Obviously not the, the start to the season that we envisioned or that we wanted, but um, you know all the credit to Princeton. They came in here with a, with a really strong game plan um, as far as offensively and how they wanted to attack us. And obviously in that first half, um, you know, they threw that first punch and, and just really got after us um, on the offensive end. And, and we were a little shell-shocked early, and then it took us a little bit of time to get our feet under us. Um, I thought we responded in the second half the way, you know, I anticipated, but, um, you know, unfortunately the damage was already done. I think they, they got some good leak outs on us. I thought our transition defense was, was not where it needed to be today. You know, I thought they made some nice extra passes. They obviously found their shooters. Um, you know, we made a couple of defensive fundamental mistakes, you know, that, that we normally don't make as far as just collapsing too much inside our runouts. Uh, to get back out on the shooters were a little bit long for us. And, you know, like I said, their, their shooters, I mean, credit them. They stepped up and knocked down the open jumpers. Transition defense, you know, we're a little disappointed with our effort there because that is something we do work on every day. Um, you know, and we'll continue to do that. So that is a practice thing. It's a rep thing. It's just understanding um, where we need to be. And, you know, I thought we had a little trouble picking up the ball today. You know, we, by the time we stopped the ball, they were pretty deep, which, which put a little pressure on the back line of our defense. Um, so, again, it's something that we have to continue to work on. Um, you know, we consider ourselves a, a transition team, so it's something that we do a lot of, but, um, you know, today Princeton definitely got the better of that. We knew they had backup players that could fill her spot, and we were prepared for that, but I think we were just weren't prepared for the pace they played at, and we had to fix that in practice tomorrow. We weren't communicating at all. When they got the rebound, we just looked at them, and then we didn't look at the people rim running, and then... We just weren't talking on the court. And I think there was a lot of components to that. You know, their chin cuts, they got a lot of layups on their chin cuts. The straight line drives hurt us, so that's all points in the paint. Um, I thought we had our hands on a lot of rebounds and didn't finish the play. Um, you know, I think that's, I think those are, those are things that I, that I think um, you'll see corrected pretty quickly because I, I do think that's just recognizing, you know, where the ball is. And, you know, like Stella said, you know, just that extra second of, hesitation you know cost us really on both ends whether it was a box out or whether it was getting out of that paint back on defense a little bit quicker so those are things that we can definitely correct there's no doubt about that um, but defensively we've got to bear down you know we, we consider ourselves a good team defensive team and, and tonight was not a good uh, example of that but you know 65 points somewhere between 65 and 70 is is usually who we are that's what we do um, and we know we've got to hold teams um, in the 60s you know and that was a goal that we have um, every day in every game is you know 15 points a quarter but we did not achieve that today like I said I think we came out of the locker room in the second half with a goal and a plan um, and I thought we executed it um, you know I thought we I think we won the second half so I, I think that's something for us to build on but like I said by the time we got our feet under us today it was too late and again you know you have to credit Princeton with that